Hi, Hi everybody. Hello, my name is Erin. I have a special guest and with me. Yudi. Welcome to an episode of Double Power, which we'll be working on unbalanced transitions. Alright, so in this video, we'll be focusing transiting from crow to tripod headstand, okay? So of course, we start out with some cardio workout to get your heart pumping. We're doing some drills and tutorial to guide you through how to move from crow to tripod. So don't worry, just follow us very closely. And if you have two blocks, please get it ready because it might be useful to you. If you don't have, it doesn't matter. We'll just see you back on the mat. Let's start at the top of a mat, starting with burpees, with push up 10 times. Okay, ready? Let's go. Pumps now and back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, onto your knees if you need. Five, four, three, two more, two, last, and one. All right, coming to mountain climber straight. Let's place your palms down. All right, you're gonna run. Forty seconds, ready? Let's go. Just keep running. <laughs> Don't stop! Uh, keep going, going, keep breathing, okay? 30 more seconds. Pace yourself. You can do it. Keep breathing. Good, almost there. Keep moving. We have last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, go drop your knees now. Right, lie down to your back. Let's do high boat, low boat, okay? So let's start with high boat first. Just sit down. Hands, you can support your back of the thighs. Lift the shins up parallel to the forearms forward. Let's go down and up 10 times, okay? Ready, lower down. And up. 10. 9. 8. Really squeeze. 7. Thighs close to the chest. Six, five, good, four, three, two, last one, let's hold, hold, let's try to straighten if you can, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good, release, pipe push-ups next. So this pipe push-up, right, we always do as one of the permanent drill is really to build your arm strength, okay? It's something that you can do if you're still a little afraid of handstand push-ups. Coming to downward dog 10 times, ready? And let's go bend your elbows, drop the crown of the head down and push up. 10, 9, so really drive and push up. 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, good, almost there, two, and one, okay? Next, we have a partner work. So if you're not doing having a partner, you can always do individual exercise, okay? So one person will be in plank, one person will sit up. So let me do the sit up first, okay? So I will bring, my sit up will be bending your knees, step your feet down, and then your knees will go into a plank pose. So maybe I'll do like this way, okay? So she will grab onto my feet so that to give me a little support for me to come up in my sit ups, okay? So 10 times, I'm going to sit up, ready? And she's going to stay in the plank and up. 10, and maybe you can tap the button. 9, Nine. Say higher, higher, higher. 8, yeah, you encourage your partner. 7, then for those one challenge the plank, maybe you can six. lift one leg. Yeah, maybe lifting one leg. 5, and then you can switch legs. Yeah, so it's your variation. Four. 
Switch sides. So now, right, if you do your sit up earlier, now you do your plank position, okay? So I'm just gonna hold her feet, step my leg back. Okay. Okay, ready? And then she's gonna go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, just three more. Three. Really hug the core. Two. two. And last one. And one. Good yeah, job, job. Well done. And well done. Last, okay. This is a little tough, low last on our hose. We're going to try to just lift, crunch up, lift one leg off at a time, 10 seconds for each, okay? So sit now onto your knees. Okay, place your hands down in front of you, just maybe a little in front of the knees. You're going to, same thing, you're going to suck round the back. Suck the tummy in, chest up. Okay, let's try to lift the right leg off first. So let's bring the knees up high, keep the tops of your feet down, then lift the right leg off. 10, 9, Push 8, eight 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, switch sides. Right leg down, left leg up. 10, 9, 8, squeeze more. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then release back down. Good. Right. Relax the wrist out if you need, okay? So you need to shift a little forward so there might be a little pressure on the wrist, okay? So try your best. If it's too much, okay, then you back off a bit. One more set, 10 seconds for each side, okay? Same thing, palms down, lean forward. Let's lift the knees off. Oh, now start with your left leg up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then switch right leg. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release, okay? You might feel a little pain on tops of your feet because you're pressing down. So maybe, okay, it's quite good because you get to stretch out your tops of the feet here as well, okay? Let's release, come to downward facing down. Starting the flow here, let's start with nice breathing. One deep breath, inhale. Full breath, exhale. Good. Just stretch out the shoulders, spreading your palms, spreading your fingertips, palms firmly pressing down. Inhale, right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the right knee towards the right elbow, hold it there, round the back, tap it in. And then bring your right knee to the left elbow, hold it there, really squeeze the obliques. Keep your shoulders above the wrist. Extend to fallen triangle. Try to hover. So spin the outer edge of the back heel down. Reach your left hand up. Keep the right leg up. Hold five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the right knee, left hand down. Bring the right knee to the chest. Really try to hug it in. Hold that five, four, three, two, and then step forward. In between your hands, come to high crescent lunge. So reach your arms up, sit a little lower here, inhale, exhale warrior two, spin your back heel down, open the body out to the side. Relax your shoulders, so spread, wide your, wider your stance if you need, look forward, half moon pose, lean forward, reach the right hand down and then float the back leg off. Of course if you can, you can float or bring your hands to your heart, hold it there five, open up the hips a little more, three, Two, and I'm gonna square the hips to a warrior three. Square your hips to the center. All right, palms to your heart, or you can reach it forward, your choice. Hold it there for another three, two, and one. Stand up, eagle leg. So once you stand up, cross the left thigh onto the right. Eagle arms as well, right hand onto the left. You can double hook the ankles if you can. If not, just one time, sit low. Elbows to knee, crunch a little bit. Three, two, and one. Just bring your arms up, release the leg. Left leg kick back to a warrior three. Keep your arms like this. We're gonna do two more times like this. Slowly from here, stand up. Left knee to the chest, cross it, and then sit low. So move this with control, right? Use your breath, focus, and really, really try your best. And then bring the body up. Release the leg, kick it back. Strong right leg here. Yes. 
Good. And bend here one more time. Bend the left knee. Cross and then sit down. Take your time. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Kick the left leg back. Now we're going to try to go for dancer pose. I know my right leg is also really pain. Right. Now release the hands. Woo. Try your best. Catch the left foot. Right hand up. And then just go as much as you can. Right? Doesn't need to keep your leg too high. Send the chest forward. Three, two, and one. Good. Release. Do a standing split. Both hands down. Kick the left leg up. Palms down for support, like a little bit of compression and toe taps here. So, palms firmly pressing down. If you need to bend the right knee slightly so that you can really place the palms down, you're going to bend, send the flex your left toes and bring it towards your left wrist. Try your best to touch and then kick it back up five. Exhale, left toes touch and up four. Good. Exhale, touch and up. Three. This is challenging. Try your Exhale. Touch. Yeah, it's really round the back. And up two. Last one. Touch. Can we try to hold? Five, four, three, two, and one. Forward fold. Just step your left foot down. Oh, shake out. Oh, shake out the legs a little bit. Halfway lift to inhale. And exhale. Fold down. Coming to chair pose. Bend your knees. Sweep your arms up. Uh, let's take a seat. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Let's lower down to a low boat pose. Okay, hold it there and your whole body holds your low boat. Pressing your stomach down, navel draws in, hold it there. Okay, if you can, let's bend your right knee to the chest. Keep the left leg up there. And then we're going to switch left knee in, right leg out. Good, and switch. Like cycling. And switch. Okay, notice if your low back is coming up, switch. You're going to press it down. Switch. And switch. And switch. Two more times. Switch. And up. switch. Last one. Switch. And switch. Now extend both legs again. Back to your low boat. Pause. Inhale. And exhale. Up to high boat. Chair pose. Step your feet down. Step up. If not, hand support. Chair. Inhale. Exhale, palms down, forward fold, well done. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, palms down, step hop back. Let's take one vinyasa. Bend your elbows. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog, stretch it up. Good, one breath, inhale. One breath, exhale. Left side now, inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, left knee towards the left elbow. Hold it there. Lean forward, rounding your back. Now you're going to keep the really nice high plank. Now, left knee towards the right elbow. Squeeze your obliques there. Really holding it there. Good. And then spin the outer edge, inner edge of the right foot down. Kick out to hover your fallen triangle. Right hand up. Hold five. Lift the hips up a little higher. Four, three, two, and one. Bend the left knee. Right hand down, keep the left knee to your chest, lean forward. Three, two, and one. Step forward, high lunge. Bring the body up. Take your time, release the hands a bit. Sit lower onto the hips. Good. One breath, inhale, stretch it out. And then warrior two, spin your back, heel down, open your arms up. Sit low. Gazing forward, you're going to go half moon here. Lean forward. Slowly reach your left hand down onto the floor block. Float the right leg up. Maybe bring your hands to your heart. All hands down. Three, two, and one. Square your hips, warrior three. Hands to your heart. You can keep it or extend all the way forward. Three more breaths. Two, and one. Stand up. Heck. Eagle legs cross the right thigh on top, left hand on top of your right, sit low. Elbows to knee, round your back crunch. Good. Really spreading your shoulder blades and then rising up, release the right leg, extend it back. Take your time to move through this, okay? Requires a lot of control and balance. Nice. Coming back to the same one again, so body up, you're going to take eagle legs cross. 
I'm like focusing and then Yeah, you like, really focus. <laughs> so sometimes, right, you move slow, okay, don't rush. Good. And then again, stand up. So ground down on your left foot. Left leg is really strong. They're pressing the left foot down, extend back. Nice. One more time as you reach up. Bend the right knee in, cross it. And then you're going to take a seat, crunch it in, elbows to knee, hold five, four, three, two, and one, release. Dancer. Yes, kick the right leg back, get ready for a dancer. Once you kick the right leg back, you can release your hands. Okay, right hand catch. All right, your right ankle from the inside, left hand up. Strong left leg here, almost there. Lean forward, try to kick the right leg up as high as you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. Standing speed. Slowly release, and then you're going to drop the hands down, kick the right leg up. Oh my goodness. Good. Stretch it out here, and then try. Now we're going to ground our palms down firmly, bending the left knee if you need. Make sure you press the palms firmly around your back. Flex your right toes behind in here. Exhale, right toes to the wrist. Tap and kick up. Five. Five. Good. Tap and up. Four. Tap. Up. Three. Tap. Tap. Two. One more. Tap. Hold. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Sit down. Step foot down. Chair pose. Bend your knee. Arms up. Slowly, let's sit down all the way to low boat. So take a seat, all the way to low boat pose. Hold it there. We're going to come up to high boat. So bring your body up, bend your knees. Back to chair pose, step your feet down. Push yourself up, chair pose. Let's do that three more times. So sit down, extend low boat pose. Inhale up, step down, chair pose. Good, lower down, extend to low boat. And up, high boat, step down, chair hands. pose. One more time, sit down, good work, low boat pose. And up, high boat pose, step down, push up, chair pose. Hold that, three, two, and one. Palms down, step or hop back, plank pose. Let's go for your first. Yes, chaturanga holds 25 seconds. Inhale, exhale, bend your elbows. 25, 24, 23. 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and press up to play. Back to downward facing dog. Stretch it out. Let's take one deep breath, inhale, exhale, one more inhale, and full exhale. Just a little short flow here, right, stay with us, inhale, reach your right leg up to the sky, three leg a dog. Exhale, right knee to the right elbow again, let's tap it in. Good, bring it to the left elbow. Hold it there, three, two, and hover your fallen triangle, spin your back heel down, outer edge of inner, inner edge of the back heel down, left hand up. Okay, now we're just going to tap the feet, and then we're going to tap the right foot down, and then lift back up, five, inner tap, high. and up, four, yes, all this work here, tap, up, three, tap, up, two, two. one more tap, up, one, nice, hold it there. And then bend the right knee, left palm down, again, knee to the chest, hold it there. Three, two, and one step forward, high crescent lunge, reach your arms up to the sky. Good, from here, let's come up to a warrior three, lean forward to a resting warrior quickly, pick the back leg off, warrior three. Uh, slowly draw your left knee to the chest, come up to standing, let's take eagle legs, cross the left thigh, onto the right, right hand onto your left, right hand on top of the left eagle arms, and then sit low. Just one time this time, so crunch it in, hold there, five, four, three, two, 
and one good come up we're gonna try half moon pose with this eagle arm so you're gonna release the left leg try your best as you send the left leg back open the hips to the left lean your body a little forward turn your chest towards the left side hold five four three two and then land to warrior two so bend the right knee land the left foot down behind coming to warrior two with your eagle arms very nice I sit a little lower, hold it there, three, two, and one. Good, release your hands back to a warrior two. Wimble your left hand down, you're gonna come to a side plank, you're gonna float the right leg up. So spin the outer edge of your left heel down, float your right leg off for a side plank. Hold it there, for three, two, and one. Right palm down, all right, one push up. Keep the right leg up, you can go for one push up. And now start plank on the other side. So outer edge of the right leg down, left hand up, float the left leg up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Coming back to a three point plank. One push up here, press up to plank, and then back to a regular plank pose. Then we go to a downward duck to reset. Good. One last side, one full breath, inhale. And full breath, exhale. Inhale, left leg up to the sky, three little dog. Exhale, left knee to the left elbow, round your spine, tap it in, hold it there. Press the palms firmly down, good. Left knee to the right elbow, hold it there, squeeze the oblique. Extend to a fallen triangle, hover it there. Kick the left leg up, right hand up. Now you're gonna tap the left foot down and raise back up, five. Tap, squeeze, four, tap, three, tap, two, tap, and up, hold, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the left knee, right hand down, left knee to the chest, hold it there, three, two, and one. Step forward, good, high lunge. Reach your arms up to the sky. Take a breather here, resting your hands. Now work a little bit more on the legs. Resting warrior just for a quick one. And then warrior three. Again, pick the back leg off. Square your hips. Always remind yourself. Three, two, and one. All right, come up to standing. Take a quick eagle legs cross one more time. Right onto your left. Left onto the right for your hands. And then crunch it in. Four, five. Four, three, two, and one. Just release the body almost like a, take a half moon pose with eagle arms. Try your best as you extend the right leg back. Turn the chest out to the right side. Good, lean the body forward. Five, four, you got this. Three, two, with control, you're gonna bend the left knee, step down, warrior two. And wriggle your feet a little wider. Keep your arms like this in warrior two. Remember to bend into that left knee. Three, three, two, and one. Good. Release your arms. And then you're going to wimble your right hand down. Now side plank. Float the left leg up. Hold it there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Three point plank. Let's go for one push up. Try our best. Good. Now set the left leg down, spin on the other side, right hand up, right leg up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. One last push up. Yes, one last push up if you can keep the right leg up. This time, Chaturanga holds. I know it's hard. Yeah, we try. Now right leg down. Now go for your Chaturanga holds. Ready? Inhale, exhale. Bend your elbows. 25, 24, 23. 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, you got this, 5, 4, 3, 2, and press up to your plank, downward facing dog. Give yourself a pat from the back. Good job. Now just a little prep for your tripod, okay? You're gonna come to walk your feet a little closer, shorten your stance. Can we drop the crown of head down to the floor in front, okay? So maybe okay, let's all bend your knees. Yeah, knees down. Okay, drop the crown of head down. So 
Right, drop the crown head down in front of you. Then we're gonna lift the knees off. Maybe I should do it sideways. Yeah, so okay. you should do sideways. Let's bring your left knee to the right on top of your left tricep. And then switch, set your left foot down, right knee to the right tricep. And then switch, left knee to the left. Switch, right knee to the left. Keep pressing your palms down, okay? Switch, left knee to the left. Switch, right knee to the left. Right knee to the right. Right knee to the right, yes. Now, left knee to the left. Try to stay there. See if you can bring your right knee to the right tricep. Then just hold it there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release both legs down. Let's drop your knees back down, sit back up. Okay, good job. Okay, so now we're just going to try. Okay, if you have done your crow, you can do your tripod alone. So that's a preparation for tripod. If not, we're going to try to see how you can drop from crow. In your crow, drop your crown of the head down. Okay, so maybe... That's scary, right? You can get a towel if you want. Okay, so you can pat it in front. But you need to show how from crow you can drop to your tripod. Okay, so let's maybe you show sideways. Sure. Come from a crow pose. Okay, some of you maybe have got your crow, but you just don't know how to drop it down. Okay, okay so you come to a crow pose. Okay, you need to bend your elbows. You need to open bend your elbows, to open out to the side, and then slowly, when you're low enough, start to look behind, drop the crown of your head down. Okay, once you drop, you really need to push through your palms, push to lift the bum up high, and then see, you can bring the knees to the chest. Just tuck it in, and then slowly, you can straighten to a tripod. If not, just stay there to tuck. Okay, same thing how you're gonna come down, you're gonna bend your knees. Tuck your knees into the chest, slowly rest the knees onto your triceps and then drop your legs down. Then you can drop the feet down, bring together. up together. Yeah, Push correct. Up. Okay, so the thing is when you do for crow, you need to bend your elbows a little more, lean forward a little more, then slowly look behind and drop the crown of the head down. To drop the crown of the head down. Yeah, if, if the two, I think if you're a bit too high, maybe you can use this to shorten the distance first. And then slowly from this, use towel because it's thinner. And then slowly to the mat. Yeah, okay. You can use the block, drop your crown of the head on the That's block right. first, okay? So example, if you have something here, like you have a little height. So it's narrow for your head okay. to drop, okay? Then you can see, you can you just can hold it here, place. right? Get the feeling of crown of the head down. And then see if you can hover the knees off the tricep to bring the knees to the chest okay all right so we can practice this okay maybe just to show one more on how you can set up for your tripod okay so let's say you're not from crow you just want to go from tripod so you're going to interlace your hands okay right um, elbows are shoulder width distance so maybe you grab your opposite elbows first okay release your hands all right then you interlace your hands place the crown of the head at the back of your palms lift the knees up walk your feet close to keep the hips stacked really high Oh, for tripod, okay. Yeah, From here, okay, where your elbows are, you're going to place, replace it with your palms. Okay, so it's a form a nice triangle between the crown of the head and your palms. Make sure you press against your palm. You need to work on your arm strength. Then same thing, just bring one knee at a time to your tricep and then you stay there. Okay, then of course, if you want, you can straighten. If not, you can stay there. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Unis, for joining us. So let's just do one time really quickly from crow to tripod, then we will end, okay? So let's, I will come to your crow pose. Knees onto your upper arm, lean forward, bend your elbows, float, okay? Squeeze the heel to the bum, slowly bend your elbows. Open your elbows out a little wider. Bring your crown back closer to the floor. Then start to look back, drop it down. Good. Lift the bum up higher, press into your palms, and then float the knees up. Slowly straighten your legs up to your tripod. Good. And then to bring it down, bend your knees, tuck into your chest, rest your knees down, back onto your tricep. Slowly just come down, push yourself up. Yay! Good job! Once again, I, am, I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for joining us today. Once again, thanks Uni. Thank you Eunice for being my model and for helping me through this. Right, let us know any comments or share with us if you would like to see any other transitions. If not, I'll see you soon again on upcoming videos. Bye! Bye.